Hello and welcome back. So let's add some actual data from our user. So what we will do is open up the profile thingy. So let me just close all the files that are here. And I want to go to um, profile view. There we go. So in here, we're expecting a row, okay, which contains data. So at this point, div row, we don't want to see, what's this one here? Female name, yeah. We don't want to see any of this if, yeah, let's see here, container. We don't want to see any of this if the user was not found. So up to down here, what is this? This one is that, okay, good. So we'll put an if statement here. So PHP tags, an if statement, if row, and close that like this. Copy that, go down to the bottom, and say, and if, and let's duplicate this. Let's put an else statement with a full column. And let's put, I don't know if it's H4 and say, uh, that user was not found. Or you can say that profile. What's that? A profile was not found. So if we refresh, nothing changes. But if we mess with the URL a little bit, we get this. That profile was not found. We can center this by adding the center uh, tag like so. And refresh. There we go. That profile was not found. We go back though, we see the profile is here, but doesn't contain the correct data. So now it's just a matter of adding the correct data. So copy this. So the first name and last name. So PHP echo like this and first name. And then we close that. Let's put a space and let's duplicate that to add the last name there. Oopsie. Okay, so first name and last name. Now, for security reasons, uh, you may want to escape these values, but on the names, it's not really that important because when adding the names to the data, to the database, we actually sanitize the data, but you never know. So we can still use the escape here now, I hope you remember what this does. Let's go back to functions. It's right over here. So it just does HTML special chars to make sure that uh, our content does not, it cannot be used to hack our system. So for those of you that do not know, this information can be used, the information in the database can be used to hack your system. So let's do this and you see the name has changed there. So let me show you how this content can be used to your disadvantage if you don't escape it. So there's John Tem Tembo. So let me change this a little bit. If I, instead of signing up with a username, I can sign up with a script tag like this, and then uh, I'd actually run some uh, HTML. Oh, some JavaScript, sorry. Now, JavaScript can be used to read from the database and actually do all kinds of things. So if you allow this kind of thing, it's not going to be great. So we can see this if I now change that name to a script tag, like so, and save that data. Data truncated, okay. So it's saying it has trimmed the data because it's too much. So this was obviously the wrong place to do this. Let 
let's try and do that in the email. We'll return that email to normal. Okay, so that is saved on the email. So if I am right here and without the escape, of course, I'm going to copy this. And here where it describes the user's email, actually, we don't even have that. But not to fear, we'll do this and say email. And here we'll put that there. But let's remove the escape. Let's just paste it as normal data, like so. And we'll say email, like that. So what will happen in this case, if, if I refresh the page, you see that this, this alert that comes in here and says hacked. So you can imagine the hacker will not put an alert like this, but they'll just run some code behind the scenes where you won't even know what's going on. Delete your database or something like that. So we have to be careful about scripts. If I refresh, it happens again. So, however, if we put this in an escape, it does not happen anymore. If I now refresh, you see that it doesn't happen, but uh, the data is saved there. So that's how you fight your way uh, from being hacked. So, John at yahoo.com. So even data that you do not suspect can be hacked it can be hacked. For example, if you are um, you're collecting user data, like IP addresses and all that, those things can be manipulated. And if you collect them and add them to your database, the day you want to display them and see what the contents are, you'll be faced with a surprise because then it's going to run some JavaScript instead. So it's always a good idea to just escape everything. Oopsie, what is going on? The data doesn't seem to be changing. Uh oh, I think I was changing some old data here. What have I done? Okay, no worries. Let's just give him the actual data, like so. Refresh, there we go. Okay, so email, first name, last name, let's add those there as well. So in the same fashion, we're going to copy this, paste, and paste. So this one, first name right there, last name, right there. And then gender, same thing, gender, and then date here. I think we have a function for this, right? Get date. And this one is gender. Okay, that should work. Refresh. All right, so there we go. Our date, uh, gender. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So let's select a different user. And that one is this one. Alrighty, Anna Jones. Everything is cool. Now, what I really want us to change is to display whether it's a female, we have the female version, whether it's male, it will have the male version. So same thing here as well. So what I will do is go to users.view right about here. So copy this and I want to add a few PHP. So open and close here. So first of all, I will set a variable called image, which will be equal to the role. Uh, row image like this. Mm -hmm. Now we need to check if the file exists. Let's come back here and make sure that's correct. There's a uh, last name and there's um, there's actually no image in here whatsoever. This is not good. So let's go to the structure and add an image, which for some reason I forgot to add. 
let's add it really it doesn't really matter let's just add it anywhere and let's say image yes variable character let's put that at uh, 500 characters and save we don't need an index for this at all so image there great so raw image is equal to that let me copy this image and put it here where is yeah right there now what i will say is okay maybe we need that assets folder or we need the root folder i'm not really sure here hmm. we will see so i'm just going to ask the question if the file exists so if file exists uh, image not exist we don't care if it exists if it does not exist then let's cut this out and put it here we're going to say image is equal to and it's going to be equal to that like so okay so assets connected to that so that's female but if the row gender is equal to male instead we ought to change this let's change that to male so you can create a whole function to do all this for you so that you just echo out one thing at the end of the day okay so we can do that we'll add that as a helper or something so is so what we are doing here if the file does not exist or there is no file in that uh, column file name then we we just check if it exists no or not if it doesn't if it does exist we just ignore that if it doesn't then this is when we add all this uh, is set yes so this should make us select the male and female versions of the thumbnails so refresh apparently uh, everything has just disappeared so meaning we've done something wrong hmm. okay so image let me come back here and see what i have made okay so there's no echoing here that's why let's do this that's probably why okay there we go so now at least we can tell who's male and who's female yes yes now of course we can have this do we can do all this in a function so i'm just going to say cut this let's go to our helpers and let's make a function here called get image and we'll have an image that is sent paste all this in there because all this can be done in here so if the file exists otherwise it should do nothing or it should return the same image like this okay good so here we'll say get image like so and that's it that makes things a whole lot easier pretty cool. okay so we have problems undefined variable row hmm. What did I do wrong here? Row gender. Oh, there we go. So we are trying asking for row which does not exist. Let's just put gender here, shall we? Like so. Hmm. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but let's try it like this, shall we? Let me go back here. I'm just trying to avoid adding too much information here 
and gender will be there but let's make it optional as well so let's just say gender is equal to male this way even though we don't add it it's going just going to assume our user is male so there we go and let's refresh okay so we are back to normal so if i click on profile i should get the same thing here where it's showing female instead of male so let me just duplicate what i've done here or replicate is a better word profile view and where are we showing the image is right over i have no idea so instead let's just add it at the top here regardless move that move that so image role everything is the same let's just copy the image and add it here paste and remove all that so this way we get the correct thumbnail that's male okay back to stuff and let's select a female that's female that's male okay so so far all the information is showing up as we require it true okay uh let's go to admins and see here profile super admin i think we need to see the rank as well just a second here let me duplicate this and let's do rank um i don't know you can call it rank or level or it's entirely up to you like this this way we know what we are dealing with I copied the wrong thing so let me just use escape here okay instead of get date yeah super admin hmm let's do a string replace not so good string replace um, I'm going to replace all spaces Let me close that here. We are replacing underscores with spaces. And then instead of the escape, I'm just going to say UC words. That way it capitalizes the first letter of this here. Okay, so that is good. Super admin. Let's come back here, look at a reception. and lecturer okay so things are working as planned we just need to be able to click on these thingies to get different information all right so i'll see you in the next video